Hey, hola, como esta? Bien, bien, bien. Here we are again. Yeah, yeah. Here we are again. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay. Now we're good. Now we're good. Now everything is right in the world. OCD. Uh, dude, I have bad OCD. Bad OCD. Oh, uh, the, the way we're looking. It was all yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. It's gotta, it's, everything's got to be kind of, yeah. yeah. you know, symmetrical. symmetrical. Yeah. <laughs> DJ, did you watch the season finale Halo? Actually, I will say the the last episode, Come on, bro, that was, was good. Was good. It felt especially when him and Cortana got back together. Some of the, their banter, I I missed that banter. Is it it some of the lines from the game? They they introduced the flood, the, they, I was, and then the final shot of three four three guilty spark, bro. Come yeah, on, like, yeah. I'm like, it's all right, good, yeah. All right. So like, I, I will say I haven't done my review of the last three episodes. I'm gonna wait till the whole season was finished for them review, and um. I will say this season was better than the first season. They still <laughs> dropped the ball in a lot of spots. Yeah. But hopefully, I will. I hope they got a good launching pad for season three. I'm a, look. I, I yeah. It, I hope a season three does happen. Mm-hmm. You know. I hope they do green light it. I think it's Paramount's one of Paramount's plus's biggest shows. So hopefully yeah. they do. Yeah. I'm okay. Look, I'm not. I'm not thrilled that he's not in the suit a lot, but at least when he does, they pay it off. Like, like that yeah. fight with the Arbiter was like the pretty idea. legit. Yeah. I will the court, the action scenes were better this season. The vis- visual of the show always looked good. I thought, yeah, it, it, it visually always looked good. Um, I will say one of my favorite characters this season, surprisingly, was Ackerman because he is just like oh. he was in the books. Like, yeah. he is that's you know, they did a I hated the, the Indian lady general, she got on my nerves when she kind of took charge of the end. Um, I don't like how they made Perez a Spartan three and it all. Yeah, yeah. I did oh, not. The whole Spartan like, three thing was crazy. Yeah, anyway, pretty, they should have yeah. just made them OSD or OSTDs. Yeah, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they should yeah. just yeah. been she, them. She, she went from having PTSD, scared to go in a fight, to being a Spartan three in like an episode. Yeah, I'm like, how, how we transitioned? There was no training. Like, yeah. You know, yeah, the Spartan but, 3s were a much, much different thing in the games yeah, and the books yeah, and stuff. And, and and they were kids, too. They were young kids. You know, yeah. They soldiers. The Spartan 4s were when they started taking regular people and augmenting them, I think, I believe. Which one was Sarah Palmer? Spartan 3 or Spartan 4? Four, four? Four, four. She was yeah. 4? Yeah. Boom. Yeah. Boom, boom. Fast. All right, we got, we got two Super Chats. So the first one is Ghostbusters. Look, y'all know I went to go see it, man. I, I saw it today. So as well, I, I plan on doing a full on review tomorrow about it mm. um, because I didn't want to put it in the main topics that I didn't know who, who was going to see it or not. I'm going to say this. Is it great? No. Is it good? Yes. I think it's mid. I think it's like like uh, I, I gave it a six. Right. Yeah. There's, there's a lot of things I liked about it. There's a lot, a lot of stronger. things. A lot yeah. Of a, a lot of things I didn't like about it, mm. you know. But the thing at the end of the day, you got to judge it like this. At least it wasn't 2016. That's why I said that's, that's, that's all you, <laughs> yeah. And that, even the even the nostalgia in itself, I think it fell short. Like, yeah, the, some the of the characters nostalgia. were like I the, oh, there was too Winston. many characters. Holy it, shit. It, there was too the many first half of the movie. I was like, who are we following here? Like, yeah, what direction are we going? Like, the, the thing somebody was, let's go with it. They, they they wanted to bring in the new cast. From the last movie, and then keep the old cast, but it was like weird because oh, the podcast kiss just happened to be in yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, and then the, yeah. the one girl that he had a crush on, she just happened to be working uh, for everybody. Everybody yeah. in Oklahoma, it's, like no parent, yeah. no supervision or anything. They like, just created on. this whole different, you know, uh, yeah. base where they can keep their ghosts and stuff. But it's just, I just find it was like, especially the part. Well, we're not, are we spoiling or we're not spoiling? No major spoilers. You can do minor. <laughs> right. You're not spoiling. All right, I will spoil it then. Oh, so you're not? No, nah, I'm not gonna spoil it. People would just you're watch it. You're making me think like, 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 like <laughs> there was things in it that I thought was weird. Like, um, there was cringy moments too. Like, like, like Phoebe yeah. and, and the ghost. But I think that yeah. paid off well at the end. I, I I knew that that was gonna be a factor. As soon as you saw it. <laughs> As soon as I saw what she was holding, I knew that could be yeah. a factor. Dude, I, I thought of Casper I, the friendly ghost every time that happened. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I I hated the 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 guy from Eternal's character. I thought that was oh, oh he's he's so he was the worst part of the whole movie. Because they should have so got rid of that subplot. That little whole 
dynamic of it, you know, I would have been because you still had Phoebe do her thing that with that. Yeah, you know, stuff she stuff. could have been the person that rede yeah. redeems everything, right? Yeah, but, yeah. yeah. The, the the whole firebender thing. Well, like, yeah. first of all, he felt like he was in a completely different movie. movie. He, he should have. He belonged in the 2016 Ghostbusters. He was too comical for this movie. He was. Yeah, he, he was doing that. He wasn't slapstick. even that funny. Yeah. He was, no. that was funny. he was he was so funny he wasn't funny he was annoying at that he, he, yeah, he was like exactly. he was like modern comedy and ghostbusters is very much like comedy from the 80s where it's very dry and subtle like, like, like bill murray's com comedy yes. or the, or even the, the girl has some good comedic lines but they were they were, they were dry like spangler did, did yeah day, you know? yeah you go back and watch the original two ghostbusters and it's funny as hell but it's very like subtle funny you yeah, know it wasn't did. jokes this dude Wait, was over the top liner. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, like the sex room, like that to me. Yeah, I, I hate that. And, and these were kids talking about that. I was, I yeah, still, they, said they were That's, eighteen, but I still look at them as it's kids. YouTube, so. man, and fucking. <laughs> yeah, it was kind of porn and, yeah. and stuff. <laughs> the, the sixteen year olds now, man. Have I, I, always, I always have a prop. Like, I suppose that one short was Euphoria. I can't watch those. Shows, oh yeah, so even though they're adults playing teenagers, they're still teenagers to me in my mind. So if they're having like sex scenes, I just feel like a perv. How, you know, how was your yeah. how was your theaters when you guys went um, to see it? it was mine was pretty packed actually yeah, it wasn't full but it, it was yeah. seated pretty well you know I was like half full for a one yeah. o'clock show mine, mine mine's about, three, about three quarters showing I went yeah. I went at one forty five so yeah. I went of, at lot seven o'clock showing and a lot of families in there yeah there was little kids in there man and I look yeah. at my daughter and I go to my daughter. Some of these kids are gonna have some freaking nightmares, man. Because that was I like, mean, there was some yeah, 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 yeah. I I seen like, Ghostbusters when I was a kid. I mean, yeah. I was in kindergarten yeah, yeah. when I had my yeah. first proton pack. So I like I, I, like, how they, I like how they did the commercials for the kids. The, dude, the I had every one I, of I, those. I had, I had every single one of them yeah. down to the freaking uh, everything, even the suit. I had a jumpsuit and everything. Yeah, I was, it was, I, I was pissed. My theater didn't have the the the, the pop. I know. I, I didn't go to I didn't go to a Regal. I might go back to a Regal. I'm so to find one. I looked. I'm like, God, they don't have it. I will say this though, they're in New York, right? Yeah. Do New Yorkers not pay attention to what's going on? Because <laughs> there was shit happening. Like the opening scene, everybody just like, la di da di da. You know, yeah. there's a fun yeah. dragon <laughs> ghost going around. Yeah. The yeah. It's like, First of it's all, like, you know how much traffic there is in New York. They wouldn't exactly. be able to get down the yeah, damn yeah. street anyway. And then like it's like absolute zero, and everybody's outside in the t-shirt, like, yay, Ghostbusters. I'm like. Did no one freeze to death? <laughs> like, I'm like, I'm like, man, how many times is the damn roof of this fireplace fucking fire building gonna blow right. up? Yeah. You know? And my thing is like, why the government keep trying to shut them down? They're the it's the same guy have, though. It's the same only, guy. The only people y'all had to fight this stuff. Why y'all you should be funding them? Like, give them more stuff. Like <laughs> it's the same dude from the original guy. Ghostbuster. He, Bill Burry was like, you became mayor. <laughs> it was like like, you're always trying to shut these guys down. You're, they're the only ones out here fighting ghosts. And, mm. you know, it's like, whatever. But I, I, I enjoyed the movie. Was it the best one? No. no. The, the, the the original remake that you did was better, way better by Miles. It felt more emotional. What, than, Afterlife? Uh, just, yeah, Afterlife. Yeah, because it was better. smaller. It was smaller yeah. in tone. Yeah, they went too big with this one, you know. I, I mean, if I had to... I plan on doing a ranking video, so I'll just spoil it anyway. Yeah. It, if I just rank the four Ghostbusters, because there's only four movies, people, um, it would be it would be last. It would be like this: yeah. Ghostbusters two, Afterlife, and then Ghostbuster one. Okay. So Afterlife would be my second favorite and, because and, and, and it being last, it's not way last. It's just last in the rankings, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah it, I, I could I could have a marathon and watch all four of them. Oh, absolutely. Happy, you know, well, like. I, I mean, I would watch it again. Like you yeah. know, I like the movie. I have yeah. problems like like the comedic uh, character, yeah. but dude, Paul Rudd's amazing though. When he started like writing the like saying the lyrics, he's like, "When there's something strange." He was. Strange. Dude, yeah. he was, he he was, was like, but it's Paul like, Rudd, yeah. right? He's, yeah. Paul, yeah. He's, he's Paul Rudd yeah. in every movie, so it's like you know Tom yeah. Cruise and then uh, Keanu Reeves. It's, that's he's Paul Rudd. Yeah, and and him and Phoebe, man, I love their relationship, especially at the end when she finally says, "I was like, oh, it's, Max." It's, 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 when she slips up, I'm like, "Oh, yeah, yeah." yeah. yeah. So, well, right I now, thought the end was really good. Yeah, right now it's sitting on 43 on Rotten Tomatoes. Uh, 
So is that critic or audience? Yeah, critic. I, I, I heard a critic hate 80, 85. I, I, heard, I, I think me and Dan were talking about it. Critics were kind of, kind of rough on it. But see, the critics all gave 2016 a fresh score, so you can't go by that shit. Yeah, yeah. Was there too much of the nostalgia stuff? Sure, but Mis- you know, I, I, used. I spent I spent ten bucks. My ten bucks was well spent. That's how I look. Yeah, ten I, bucks. Dude, I sat there with a smile. Yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah, yeah. I, I went there with my daughter and cracked up. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. yeah. we were laughing yeah. at <laughs> yeah. looking over at the kids freaking out with their covering their eyes. <laughs> and that villain, that villain, when he, when he went full villain, he was kind of creepy. Yeah, that CGI I, I, was good. CGI was nice. The, the yeah, the CGI in this movie where I have to, yeah. I have to say, yeah. we're and, and the CGI Slimer looked just like the puppet Slimer, yep. so that was yep. good too. Yeah. yeah, wish I wish yeah. they kind of. I wish him and Bill Murray would have met back up. Yes, you know they were yeah. kind of somehow met at the end. The, so the I, library, the, the library scene. That, that, that was that was fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That was fun. Yeah. I, I liked when Ray went to the library. He's like, "You're not allowed in here. You're not allowed <laughs> <on> fifty feet." <laughs> so but, yeah, oh. I, I enjoyed the movie. It's worth it's worth a go see. I think. Yeah, yeah I, I like, like I, I text Danny at the end of the movie. Yeah, I didn't think it was Danny's cup of tea, right? Because Danny wasn't like he wasn't in a big hurry to see Afterlife. So I was like, unless you're a hardcore fan, I would wait for this yeah, one, man. Yeah, yeah. Wait, we'll come on stream and watch it, but it's worth a watch down the road. Yeah. So I won't. Yeah. I won't go back to theaters again. But when it comes on streaming, I'll probably watch it again. Yeah. <laughs> Brooklyn's like, why are you so quiet, Danny? Cause he ain't, he didn't see the movie, Brooklyn. <laughs> You didn't see yeah, the movie. Yeah, nothing to say to the next topic. But Bustin makes him feel good. Um, Fast Eddie threw in a 20 hour super chat. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, I don't understand. People are up in arms right. about X97. We, we don't know either. Crop shirt, <laughs> Magneto, and Rogue's relationship, Storm's hair, and her looking, uh, her losing her powers of all this in the comics. Dude, I, okay. So I'm not the biggest. X Men animated series fan. I I mean I watched the episodes as a kid, but I never watched it like completely. So I don't know how it ended or any of that stuff. I just watched it whenever I was waiting for like Power Rangers or something to come on. And um, you know, so I I tuned in in the first episode. I'm like, okay, show me what you got. And I watched both episodes back to back, and I loved both episodes. I, I thought they were really already. really good. Second one was two, really two good. things I don't like. I I, I like the the episode where it's taken off from. I don't like Magneto's new uniform. I know it's comic book. Yeah, yeah, I don't. Put t- that ain't my cup of tea. It's I the hate sleeves. The I hate it's it. the sleeves, I, isn't it, Danny? It's the sleeves. I hate, I hate I, the big M. It's a big M on it. That yeah, just bothers man, me. Yeah, yeah. they're looking a little feminine. I heard somebody said on X it's that sleeves. Yes. looks like uh, Granny Goodness. Off, and I say what? Now compare them. <laughs> And he does look like Granny. But if I'm not mistaken, that's I, sort of what his costume looked like in all new X Men. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a comic book screen, and and it. That exact same story they did is in there. He's in the chains yeah. and shackles with that new M and the sleeveless, whatever. That ain't my cup of tea. But for everything else, I don't mind him in the relationship with, with Rogue. I think that's kind of kind of neat. Did my, did my boy Gambit wrong, man. I, <laughs> see, I, I like yeah. that. Me <laughs> some, my man, my man dropped his car. Drama. I'm like, no, nah, man. My boy Gambit, yeah. man, you doing wrong, bro. Well, I'm telling you, man, when, whenever... Uh, Gambit charged up Wolverine claws. Oh, that was dope. That, and then he and did a spike at the end. Oh, that, cool. that was t- what, it was yeah. fast, fast, the fastball special that was originally called when he got when he throw Wolverine or whatever. But now he's called the charge. Oh, with Colossus. Special. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I will say guy, though, what, he, turned the, he, turned, he turned the blob. Then Wolverine jumped on blob. And yeah, then went yeah. And killed one of those. Uh, I like how they. I like the Sentinels. Sentinels. I like how to I like how to use a morph because morph allows you to use to put other characters in there. Yeah, yeah. nostalgic real quick. Dude, you know, we for a second there, I was confused. I was like, I was what's too. Dylock doing? I'm yeah, like, did like, Mystique like, come in here? And I'm yeah, like, oh wait, they morph. have that one dude. So, yeah. I like yeah. how to use a morph. Was, uh, start what well, something strike right? What with long nails? Yeah, I can't uh, remember. Lady, lady death. Lady death. Lady death strike. Lady death strike. Yeah, yeah. But um, I'm trying to think now. I know morph can. To, can appear to him, but he can also have their powers as well. Mm-hmm. And that's gonna make him I something I don't, like. I don't, I don't think he, he has his powers. Well, he you know he he, 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 like he, he he used um Psylocke's uh, glowing thing, her charge powers. And he he also fighting. when that guy hit him as a uh, Cyclops, it didn't hurt him. So I'm like, oh, yeah. so he can turn to him and have their powers. That's like uh, he's so he, he's a mega level too. Is that Mystique at the end of episode two? Y'all think, no. or Gene that's from some, the future? That's that's some other. Oh, you talking um, about the cliffhanger? 
Mm-hmm. Somebody said it's some other character. It's like it's a twin, but it's not her from the future. It's some name. Okay. Like somebody was discussing it on X. I was like, mm-hmm. I'm not com- X Men comic book up to speed like it was. Yeah, because yeah. Fable was saying that. like a oh, man, Cyclops is the best. Best my, my, uh, X Men. I was like, mm, I don't know about that. And then he shot, and then I said, I don't care for Magneto's new uniform. And man, shoot, five minutes later, you show me the clip with the comic book, and it's yeah. exactly what it looks like. Yeah, but I will mm-hmm. say though, I like how they're making Cy- Cyclops yeah. more badass this time. It's a little yeah, yeah, pussy boy. And was, when he was when that when he went was falling, and he's like, see you on the ground, and did the blast down. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, I was like, that's pretty badass. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> And then when he was fighting, he was using it to, to move the slide. Yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. So yeah. when he freaking jumped off the uh, like the plane blew up, right? Yeah, yeah, and yeah. He came down and broke his uh, broke his fall with this beam. Yeah. That was pretty tight. I will say, but, Magneto uh, got the best lines at the end when he's doing that speech when he's like going oh, up yeah. in the air. He's like, "Don't make me disappoint y'all." I was like, "Oh, man. And, <laughs> yeah, that was you awesome. felt that, man. You felt yeah, that. Yeah, that yeah. was well written." Yeah. Oh, yeah. And, they're, and, they're, and they're doing the flashes and everything. I was yeah. like, "Man, yeah. that was just perfect." Now, like the way they get his powers, how they use his powers, how mm-hmm. we use his hands as one color, then we use his thought yeah. as a different color. Yeah, yeah, they got they got Magneto down pat. <laughs> They're like the, our gun, our guns aren't affected. You know, you see the helicopter start spinning up. I was like, yeah, y'all done messed up now. <laughs> yep. the, the one reason why I was really impressed with the episode was because it felt like it was very layered when he was sending up mm-hmm. the, the when they when he brought him up in the space like oh man and he's giving this speech and the music is playing behind yeah. it like mm-hmm. it felt like, you felt like it, yeah you felt yeah. It, yeah I was like man this is a damn cartoon what the hell like, yeah like when mm-hmm. I watched this when I was nine years old like getting this deep kind of mm-hmm. message and everything but yeah, yeah I'm enjoying it so it, it's, it's, they're, they're saying episode three is even better. Remember, I said, I'm to. trying to change. So oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Don't make me disappoint you. I was like, Dang. Disappoint you. Oh Lord. See, but but that's the thing, right? It's so well written. Yes. And we all know that the guy got wonder, fired. Is it gonna lose some? Right? He, he wrote two. season two already. Yes, yes, yes season two. Right? Once season but, three yeah. comes along, yeah, yeah is it gonna stink? I hope the quality doesn't go down. The high hell? I hope not. That's right. Well, yeah, well, maybe they by then the they'll, they'll work things out. Like, <laughs> yeah. delete your we'll OnlyFans and you come back. Was it sexy I, game? I, I, I'm a guy or something I, like that? They call. But back to what <laughs> that you said about the, the crop tops and all that stuff. People get people are just trying to find these are people who never even like known about X Men mm-hmm. are getting yeah. mad about this stuff. If you look or, back at it, and someone pointed out they did a flashback of the '90s, Will Smith. Uh, every major male actor wore crop yeah, top. Yeah, yeah. It, it was a fashion statement in, in that time period. So they're just going yeah. off the fashion of yeah. 1997. Yeah, remember, guys, this takes place in 1997, not 2024. Exactly. This is, yeah, you know, a lot of y'all people that are watching weren't even born yet. Or they're just complaining to, about this, you know. You have to. You just have to watch how the guy in cameo, the band cameo, used to dress with the crop tops and the and the red jock yeah. strap. Man, <laughs> it, it, it was it was a thing back in the day. <laughs> yeah, it was. You know, well, they're just wow. me. Or they they make him Wolverine a little bit foolish. Uh, sit, I, I don't think sit, so. I don't think so. He would sit on that ca- on that cabinet. I mean, on the couch. He was watching and stuff. And then he like he couldn't pick up that she was going to labor. He was like, in, for that split second, I'm like, you not you not <laughs> tell she's in labor. You acting that, that stupid that you don't, that you don't catch it. My, my that was a funny scene though. She, she was like, he here. He's like, where where? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was like, really? You know? Man. Maybe, man. I tell you, man. So some bros got their heart broken in this episode. Yeah. Wolverine watching Gene give birth to the the Scott's kid, and then Rogue walking out dude, of Magneto's chamber, dude, dude, bro. Dude, but but Gambit dropped that card, man. I was like, I got you, bro. Uh, I want to give a hug, man. I was like, damn, man. It just hey, wrong. <laughs> no, I, I know, no, Sherry. <laughs> I know we make jokes about them taking away Rogue's ass, but bro, I thought the animation looked Listen, great. They, yeah, they, yeah. they 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 the compensate the they compensated nice. they compensated in other parts of her body because yeah. if you see that yeah. scene where she throws she's... the freaking sentinel over mm-hmm. right she's like like crotched on her knees you see a whole crotch and you see her breasts going and she, yeah the voice like, acting is great yeah, too yeah. <laughs> and, <laughs> and storm too and then when storm wrote that letter and gene was reading like that Ooh, just was yeah. sad shit yeah. man Mm-hmm. Like the writing, the writing is so good. Like, Storm yeah. is really good. The only one I don't like, hate, don't I don't like, but I don't hate it. Is Magneto? His look, 
look kind of feminine to me, more feminine than he should. Other I think the long that, hair. It's yeah, it's the that, sleeves. It's the sleeves. It, it's the sleeves yeah. that are throwing yeah. you off. But yeah, that was yeah. like that. They were doing that all over the place in the nineties, though. Yeah. But like like Todd McFarlane and oh, um, like that. And then, and then, it was like, man, he on that brown suit and that helmet. But and he yeah. said, I like the way they explained it. There's no reason for him to wear the helmet now because the Charles, Charles is not there. Yeah. Yeah. So, but there's like other the psychics that. out there. I don't know why he mm-hmm. thinks that. Wait, but yeah, like Gene. But even Gene said like. His, you know, he you can go in his head, but he, in that moment, he could not feel that way. Yeah. You know, so he I think could, Charles is a the telepath and Gene is yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. And then he said that he could always feel Charles there, but right. now that Charles dead, he can't feel him there, so there's no need mm-hmm. to wear the helmet. Yeah, well, they had that. They had that bond. So yeah, yeah, that's crazy. Nope, the writing is good, man. Right, like yeah. you guys said, let's see what happens season three when yeah, the- I hope season three don't stink it. Stay yeah, up. I mean, we we're we're at least two three years away from that, so we don't oh, have yeah, to worry yeah, about yeah. it. In the yeah. near <laughs> um, Justin Monty threw in two super chats. His first one says, "How does Frozen Empire compare to Ghostbusters 2? I would pick Ghostbusters two only because there's less characters. There's way too many characters in this movie. If they would have just committed to one group, like like kept the core group of young kids but they try to add all the young kids and then bring in new characters upon that you know we didn't we didn't, we didn't need the black girl to come back <gasps> yeah diversity we needed it bro I, the, <laughs> the, the, pod, the podcast kid i get because he was helping um what's his like name ray and in half ray so i kind of get that but i just felt what was she there as an intern like she had no technical prowess or anything yeah know? well well the, the the group of scientists we didn't need at all anyway when well, Winston, the, the new scientist guy like yeah brought him on you know well like, like they didn't need to be in there like, like it was it was the blonde white guy another female and they, they were like like in an aquarium that they transferred into like the headquarters that that whole thing could have they, they could have just wrote that in for ray why wasn't ray in charge of that yeah you know so yeah that could have been all taken out in, in general, the, all those characters. Um, and I feel like the podcast kid and the black chick didn't need to be in it or at least come up with a better reason why they're there other yeah, than yeah. they just happen to be there. Hmm. And it was weird that the mom was a ghostbuster. Yeah. Hey, hey, she did, did, well, she didn't want anything to do with oh, it, right? Yeah. Yeah. It, well, then they should you know like, they, they, you know they should have like the, the black girl. Take the mo- the mom's yeah, place yeah, where yeah. Paul Rudd was the adult, and then he's like, you yeah. know, and then they would have more of a reason why the mayor shut him down. Why you got three minors, you know? Yeah, well, right. Well, the eight, yeah. eighteen. So. Yeah, the point. one was eighteen, but the other yeah, two would be yeah. minors. That yeah. would make a little more sense. And then the mom could be the one answering the freaking phones or something. Yeah. It, it didn't As make it, sense it, for the mom. Well, she mentions that, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. Is like yeah. yeah. You would have been. Yeah, I will say what's, what's the camera? I can't remember the girl's name. Um. Venkman's um, Phoebe? daughter, Phoebe. She was she was in her teenage year because she was talking crap oh, to yeah. her mom. They always Man. they always cut away, but she was <laughs> hitting them like all those ago. kids so much older than the last one too. I, I was like, 16? is that the same he, podcast he, kid? Yeah, I I didn't know who he was at first. I was like, he was like yeah. a little chubbier and yeah, you know, he was short and fat, yeah. and then he was like yeah. tall and skinny. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, the hell. Could they were um, like fifteen or something like that. In this Phoebe right was fifteen. Uh, yeah. sixteen, wasn't it? The ghost was sixteen. The ghost yeah. was sixteen. Well, she looked older than sixteen. I thought she was like 21, 25. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Justin Monty threw in a five hour super chat. Uh, also, guys, we have fifty people watching, and we only have fifteen likes. Come on, let's hit that up the to thirty. Light button, uh, the light button, yeah. uh, Justin Monty threw in a five hour super chat. It's incredibly stupid that people claim X Men ninety seven is woke, despite yeah. the fact that X Men has always been woke. We people are. Said. Yeah, they people are just trying to find something to be upset about nowadays. I hate yeah. how they're try, trying to tie it in with politics. Yeah, could they try to compare, oh, it's just uh, like January sixth? I'm like, what the shelf like? Uh, it's like, come oh. on, it's not even. It's not even close to that, man. It's just ridiculous crap. People just to get you know people to quick make yeah, exactly. Well, because exactly. because those hate channels need something for fire. Don't worry, we'll get into the hate channel stuff when we get to the acolyte because. I'm worried yeah. about that shit, man. Um, but but you can't claim that for X-Men because the whole purpose of X-Men was for inclusions. Yeah, I mean, I mean that's that he threw in a five hour super chat. The Acolyte trailer of thoughts. I want to say this right quick. I think I said it on Guys Car Channel. Um, Star Wars fans in general really make me sick. 
And the reason they make me <laughs> sick is because I hear people on different channels say, we're tired of the, the, the Skywalker <coughs> family. We want to see something different. If you look at the Acolyte trailer, we see a lot of things different. There's nobody on there that I recognize, never even heard of. They said, okay, there's a simple formula. Lightsabers, good fights, a Sith, Jedi. We see all that. And people are still complaining and saying, it's, nah, it's man, it's this. They haven't watched the first thing but that two-minute trailer and already done tried it. So mm -hmm. if you don't if you don't like Star Wars, just stop. That, it, if it's, it's that bad, stop watching it. Yeah. I've been saying that for years now. If, it, if it's that bad, stop watching it. You know? This this particular trailer is exactly what they asked for. They asked for. We want something different. We're tired of seeing Ray. We're tired of seeing Luke Skywalker. We're tired. Of, we want to see more Luke Skywalker, but we want to see something different. They're giving you all that, and you're still complaining. So I don't know how Disney. I don't know how Lucas Film can can. They damn if they do, damn if they don't. I don't know. Right. I don't understand it. I get why they're upset because they feel betrayed, especially now that you know George Lucas has actually backed up, you know, Bob Iger and all that yeah. stuff. Yeah. And well, that's for a good reason, though. That's for really good reason, though. Right. So I get it, but like Danny said, right? It's, it's these, these they like they get a lot of views from this stuff, and it's you know, at one point you could think of it as just a, a business uh, way of going about it as well. But you're dead right, man. It's we say we you know we want something different, we get something different, but it's also the politics behind the director. And the writer, whatever, apparently that's the problem. It's the politics behind it that also fuel these people and give them reasons to be upset and not want and find anything to bash it. But the trailer itself, visually, it looked great. The writing of it, you know, there were some lines in there that you know that I didn't like, like the whole, you know, close your eyes, you know, your eyes can deceive you, and so forth. And then the whole thing with power. Um, what was the last one? She's with uh it's about who wields it. It's not about how who gets to decide who, who gets to decide who, do, who do, yeah, who exactly. Who gets to decide who wields it, right? But the force was always about balance, right? The dark side and the light were always about balance, not one conquering the other, but there being a balance in and the, the force. The yeah. So I'm curious to see it because they say it's like, and then you have the whole um canon part and the whole lineage right what they're saying okay so yoda is alive during this and you know how is that going to are they going to you know are you going to see yoda and all this stuff all from a what two minute trailer not even yeah like it looked good i i, I like the whole trinity of star wars coming in the fight scenes look nice i liked it i i i really liked it and i'm gonna and i'm gonna see it because i, I want to see what they're gonna bring in this you know pre uh pre uh phantom menace 100 years before the phantom menace yeah. so i agree with I'm that curious guy, that guy's car I, I just don't think this trailer i don't mean to kill anybody else off no, i don't think this trailer gives you enough information to make an intelligent informed decision whether you're not gonna like it or not i think that's just personal bias oh mm -hmm. so i was in the trailer no i don't like it because there ain't a white male on there it's females whatever Got Guess what? Yeah, there are more. Right. There are more people on the world besides white males. Yeah, yeah. guys, I'm yeah. standing right here. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, 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 last I heard, you were black. <laughs> remember? Yeah, 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 I must say they were they were black. Yeah, 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 that's that's you were black. I'm just saying. Oh, now now he would think about the white male, Rob. Yeah, big lot of them. That's what I'm saying. Oh wow. Oh my god. If if you go and listen to the people that hate it. They're, they're making shit up because of what the director said. Because the director Leslie he Headley Headland, whatever, the, like, like she's she's a psychopath, man. She's one of those those feminine. Like she's like, oh, I Hard cried part. during yeah. Frozen Hard because part. the two sisters fell in love, and she just wasn't in love with a man, but she was in love with her sister, and that's the true meaning of love. Like she's one of those psychopaths, man. Like, like that's why people are losing their shit. I agree with you. That there's nothing in this trailer to dislike as a Star Wars fan because it has everything, it has lightsabers, it has all that shit, right? But when people want to start reading into the behind the scenes stuff, and then they start incorporating that into the the what they see on TV. And, and let's be real, man. 
If it wasn't for their YouTube channels, if they really hated this shit that much, they ain't nobody gonna keep watching shit they don't like if they really don't like it. Then that's the business part. I, I bet I bet all be day one watching it, sitting down on the yeah, couch they, watching they, it. Yeah. And they're gonna find so if you look yeah. at to me, the perfect movie is Shawshank Redemption. But I guess if you look at it hard enough, you can yeah, find you can, something. You can nitpick and find well, stuff. Who yeah, wanna nitpick and let something that is close? Let's just say in a scale, in a percentage scale, is ninety eight percent. Who wants to look through two and a half hours of that movie to find the two percent that just totally? <laughs> it's crazy. I don't. I don't. He I don't said. Understand he said this movie. when he should have said that. I'm like, yeah. oh, come on. It's crazy. Like, it, it's crazy. Like I said, I'm probably the lesser of the Star Wars fan or newer of the Star Wars fan on the panel. And I, as a, I would say, more, a little bit more of a casual fan, but not casual. I enjoyed the trailer. Like I hear people complain about, oh, we don't get enough lightsabers. You had like twelve in one scene. Yeah, I mean, what yeah. what else more do you want? I you even said one, that in the trailer. <laughs> you got you got twelve lightsabers. What else do you want? I mean, I don't. I, like Danny said, no matter what Disney does with Star Wars, they right. can't win. The thing is, I even said this in my trailer reaction. I don't care if you add females or people of color or whatnot in the, just write them well. I didn't like I did not hate well, Rebel black, because she was black. Yeah, I hated her because character. her character. Really character. Yeah, yeah. Valley yeah. Rick as well. Yeah. Well, Ahsoka was black. I didn't have a problem with that character. James Darth Vader is black. Like, come on. I mean, I mean, <laughs> Damn, dude. He was. I mean, James Earl Jones. Yeah, Plus, he got yeah, crispy the voice. Yeah. yeah. Did you ever no. hear like the 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 version without James? Yes, Earl it's Jones' it's voice. Not, it's it's, so bad. Bad. it's bad. terrible. It's so bad. terrible. <laughs> I'm so glad they didn't go with that British voice. David Cross. Oh yeah. oh, it, it, it was British. Yeah. 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 Oh, no, that wouldn't work. Yeah. It was no. It was not good at all. Justin Monty threw in a five dollar super chat. I will say if Marvel does use X Men ninety seven as the blueprint to make the MCU X Men movie, it's, it's not canon to what in, I think MCU the X Men. Yeah, I, no, it, it's not going to be canon, but yeah. they can do something similar, yeah. like, like 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 have that as a blueprint. Okay, this works. That family dynamic sort of thing yeah. works. Yeah, they can do that. I think, oh, and that's what they, they need to do. They would be stupid not to look at this and see how the uh, the crowd, the audience is reacting yeah. to this, and not take it and and strive but for. I don't it, think I would write the story live action without no. Charles Xavier. I think he's too important at this particular. No, point. no, no. Yeah. I, I think just the blueprint of it. Yeah, yeah, not, yeah, yeah, not the story. And I would go and get fast if, if they're gonna stay in that direction or not. I would go get Fastbender, and I would definitely go get a boy that played. Uh, you can't get Fastbender anymore. Why? He already played Magneto. Yeah, I, 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 don't, I don't think they're gonna bring back any of the old character uh, actors. He was great though. Yep. Let me ask you a question. Yeah, man. Uh, I think this is the best Disney Plus show that they have made, in my opinion. Probably it's the most viewed. About so far, X Men ninety seven. Yeah, yeah. the best opinion. show or best animated show. Well, I mean, they had me. You can't count what if. You can't compare what if to this. It would be in my top three of the best shows that. Yeah, you know, it would be in my top three. I still if think season two ain't bad, bro. What's that? What if season two ain't bad? I'm not saying it's not bad. I'm just saying compared to we want to see two like, episodes. I have to wait till we see the whole package yeah. and then make. Think, that. I still think Ahsoka was real, really good, and I still think. The first yeah. season, The Mandalorian, was really, right. really good. And, and uh, Rob, um, this, I don't know, I'm not going to say this is better than, um, what's the second uh, Star Wars animated show? Rebels? Oh, uh, no. You're oh, talking Rebels. About, uh, yeah, but that's Rebels. Before, that was, that's, that's, pre, that's pre-Disney. Yeah, that, that, that was before Disney Plus. He, he means yeah. on Disney Plus. T- Tales of the Jedi were, was awesome. Tales of the Jedi was, but it was yeah. super, super short. That You can watch yeah. the whole thing in an hour. Yeah. I, I would put this in my top three for sure. Yeah, I thought the last season of Rebels was on. Not a Rebels no, that's ended last way before. last season, way, way before. Uh, uh, not Disney Rebels. Uh, you're Clone Wars. The last season Clone of Clone, Clone Wars. Wars. Yeah, yeah, they went back and redid the final yeah. season of Clone Wars, which was very good. Yeah, the last couple of episodes. I yeah. think maybe Clone Wars is better than this. I I wouldn't agree with that, but everybody has their own taste. I would I will tell you after the season. Yeah, yeah it's only been two so, episodes. So, so far, the, the right. And I, many episodes are to right, I, I think 10. Is it just 10? Oh, really? It's more than that. Yeah, it's the most viewed uh, viewed popular I think, TV show I think online. It's got right 100, I think it's got, it's got 100% too on um thing. I, yeah, I had 100% Rotten Tomatoes and 92 um audience score. 
Stop. I had it's the highest rank ever. Yeah, go ahead. Sorry. He, he went on my live stream the other day when I was playing Helldivers. He's like, man, X-Men 97 is trash. I'm saying thing like, you're a massive fan of the original anime series. Yeah. Why are you calling it trash? Because it's exactly the same thing. Right? Like, there's nothing they changed about it. There's 10. Oh, done. These 15 or really? 16. 10. Wow. Yeah. Fast Eddie short. Short, five hour super chat. Also, thoughts on the Beetlejuice trailer and the penguin trailer. I haven't seen, I haven't seen the penguin trailer, mostly because I'm not interested in it at all. I've seen a little but, bit of penguin, but I haven't seen the Beetlejuice trailer at all. The Beetlejuice trailer I thought was pretty good. It was super short. It just showed clips of going through the town, the the bridge where the couple died at the end the, the beginning of the first movie. They started playing that stupid song that I hate from the first movie. Um, like the daylight come. Man. I hate that song. Um, Harry well, awesome. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then, then like, it's, don't make me want to go home. <laughs> and, and, and then she uh Jenna Ortega pulls the <laughs> The thing, and it Beetlejuice pops out, and he's like, "The juice is back," or something like that. Um, it was like a teaser. There's not really a whole much to go on about it, except for Michael Keane looks mad old. That makeup should have been way better. Are they doing something um, with a uh, what's the Will Smith movie where he was with the zombies? Um, I oh am Legend. God. I am I Legend too. Are they doing that too? I heard a rumor about it. I'm I was gonna not. say I am Legion for some reason. Yeah, it's with um, he, they're getting uh, Chill Killmonger. What's his name? Um, Michael B. Jordan. Michael B. Jordan. Yeah, yeah, to be in it. Wow. Yeah. I heard it's gonna be like you know I think had alter ending to that original. It's gonna go for the alter ending where he survived. So I'm curious to see how they're gonna do that. It's true, right? Because that's right. That was the altering ending. That yeah, he, yeah. That he lived. When he lived, yeah. when he died. Yeah. So I think this movie's gonna be the one where he where he lives. So I want to see how they're gonna do that. Yeah. And then mm -hmm. just some Monty threw in two dollars super chat. Star Wars fans don't know what they want. They want to bitch and complain. That's what they want to do. Star bitch Wars and complain. Never, never be happy. Never be no, happy. Remember, they weren't happy. They weren't happy during the prequels either. No, they weren't. The only time they were happy was the Luke Skywalker moment. That was the only time when I saw Star Wars fans <laughs> yeah. reunited. reunited. That yeah. Was yeah, one episode. Other than that, everybody was like, "Jesus!" And, then, pants. and <laughs> then, like two days later, they were back to hating each other again. Oh, it's over with. Next, Let's oh, once they fired here. Gina Carano, man, that's when shit hit the fan <laughs> as well. Yeah, yep. That was one of girl, the, uh... girl was done bet dirty, but hey. It's it. Apparently, she signed a new contract with uh, a Hollywood a Hollywood uh, studio. Apparently. Invincible yeah. episodes. I, Invincible. I have not watched the two newest episodes. No, I haven't been watching it either. I've been uh, catching up on other stuff. I was watching it, semi watching it in the background as I was doing my one thousand piece Spider Man puzzle. One thousand pieces. Good lord. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Dude, you got one three thousand. I'm like, no way. I, yeah, I, have, I haven't, I haven't opened that one yet. No way. <laughs> oh, fuck. I'll have it up here. I'll, I'll put it where the Yoda poster is, most probably. I, I, I think I'm just gonna wait for the, the season to finish for Invincible, and then go through and Big just question. binge it. Yeah. Sure. I came from getting my grandson something to eat from McDonald's, and walk in. My wife was watching House of Dragons. She's like. It's gonna be on next month or something. Watch Game of Thrones, Danny. Damn, Jesus, stop being stubborn. I'm just telling you what she was watching. I didn't say yeah. what I was watching. I you need watch to watch it. Game of Thrones. Damn. Yeah. I'm gonna watch before the House of Dragon come on. Rewatch. I do a rewatch. Yeah. What was it? Eight episodes, wasn't it? House of Dragon. Eight yeah, I think it was eight episodes. Yeah. If you like House of Dragons, I promise you, Game of Thrones is better in every single way. I know, oh. know what you're saying, bro. I understand. I don't have the time to watch all of that before it comes back. Season two comes back on. I'm not missing yeah. season two. You don't have to miss season two. Daniel will watch it when he's retired. He has all the time uh, yeah. in the world to watch that yeah. show. So. And then he's going to be like, damn, I should have watched this before. Mm, I, don't I don't think so. Game of Thrones but, is uh, awesome, bro. <laughs> Game of Thrones is awesome. It's my well, I, the people who opinion that I respect, and they say, "Ooh, last season was like." Yeah, everybody says that, but you have to make up your own mind because everybody. I I like the last season. Is is the last season perfect? No, 
But if you build something up in your mind on how something should end and they do something different, then of course you're not going to like the, the, the outcome, you know? Yeah. But see, it's also different because my wife watched it in 2023 for the first time, right? Because I, 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 we binged it, right? So she saw all the signs of what was going to happen at the end because she binged it all the way through. But the people like me, we watched it for eight years straight and we had to wait year to oh, year. Yeah. For it. so you forget things, but when you watch it all the way through, like my wife did, you Just were see. able to put out the details of what was going to happen. Didn't we even have to wait like almost two years before one of the, the final one of the season? Seasons? Yeah, yeah, it was. It was like the final season. Yeah, I remember, I remember yep. one part we had to wait like felt like forever. Yeah, yeah. I hate when they do that. God, I hate when they just like prolong it, prolong it, prolong it. And it was all contract disputes, wasn't it, with the actors? That, that's what people are going through now at Yellowstone. My yeah. wife was like chomping at the bit. Right? Yeah. Exactly. Kevin Costner might not come Where back and all this stuff I've, I've been yeah. hearing. Oh, my God. I want to write Kevin Costner and say, look, you messed up people's money. Suck it <laughs> up. You got enough money. Go ahead and do this thing and, and, and let's get the ball rolling. Yeah. At least end that, it. Give it a good send off. Sorry. Fast Daddy threw in a five dollar super chat. They should make Jurassic Park survival movie main character. I don't know what, how to pronounce that. I mean, Iman Bellani. Iman Bellani. I don't know who that is. That's, Ain't uh, he the one from Ghostbusters? Yeah. yeah. Did you guys see the alien trailer? Yeah. No. Uh, I did see it. But it, cool for it looks great. Yeah, it looks really good. It was like they're going right back to horror. I'm like, holy shit. Jump scare and yeah, it looks good. Looks yeah. good. I'm probably gonna go see that in the theater. All right. Yeah, I'm probably gonna go see that in the theater too. Yeah. And then I we got Alien and Aliens and then I'm not uh, big into like that <laughs> jumping stuff, but aliens is like the exception to the rule. I want to go see that. That might be my first IMAX experience. Yeah, we got um Godzilla and King Kong this coming week. Oh yeah, I'm ready to see that. I'm ready. To see and then, ready to see that. then that trailer looked good for that. Actually, yeah. Like we're we're gonna start getting hit with all the big movies coming up. Mm -hmm. Yep. I'm ready to see that. I just don't and want then that part they're looking pretty cheesy, especially Godzilla. I can see King Kong, but Godzilla pretty cheesy, running like a regular human. Apparently, it's going to be completely from the point of view of King Kong and Godzilla. Like it's going to be more following them than the humans themselves, that, right? That'd be good. That, that's what I heard. Well, let's hope that's the case, because uh, yeah, I'm not liking the human aspects. I don't like the human aspect. Apparently, it must be either. new that this was coming because how would they develop this like metal gauntlet? Uh, the the, the affinity gauntlet thing? Yeah. Like, how did, <laughs> why did they even build that? Let's say new something like this was coming. Because yeah. apparently, King Kong is the defender of the humans. That's what that's what I've read on the thing that said about. I, I've been Team Kong since day one. I, I never was a Godzilla fan until the first Godzilla with Matthew Broward. King, you remember mm -hmm. that one back in like Godzilla. 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 That's the first yeah. time I kind of like like the old Japanese Godzilla. I was like, yeah, it was cool. I don't want to see that. Was that. the one with the eggs in the stadium, right? Yeah, yeah, in yeah. New York, in New York uh, uh, Square, Madison Square Garden. Yeah, yeah, yeah that was cool. And so we got the Godzilla Kong next week. The week after that, they got Monkey Man. Which then. Oh, Which looks good. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah, what's that, Danny? When does uh, Planet X come out? That should be pretty soon. That's what I'm looking for I, because that's the one I'm super. Okay, May 10th, uh, Planet of the Apes coming out. That's what I'm looking forward to. Yeah. DJ's backstage. Probably. I hope that. Uh, oh, thank you. I hope that, that uh, old boy's yeah, son is, is be just as strong as he is and not be a wimp. Yeah. Is that his son, though? Have they confirmed that that's his son? That's is that his son? It's been like it's been a few years, huh? like like a long think, time in between, right? Yeah, I think that's old boy's son. Who was the the leader? It might, of be, his, it might be his grandson, yeah. honestly. It's, well, he I named his son Cornelius. I think it's, I think it's hundred right? years after. I think it's a hundred years later. I thought it was his son. What's his name he, again? Was, well, I thought it was Cornelius. It was but Caesar. It was Caesar. Caesar. Was the I name think that's Caesar. Caesar was the yeah. the, the main ape yeah. in the last yeah. trilogy. Yeah. 
But cause, cause then it cause the trailer makes it look like that's it's his son left. and that's Nova, but that's that can't be Nova because too many years have passed. Nova was already like eight or something in War of Planet of the Apes. Well, I'm trying to figure out if it was Caesar's son, then how did how did he lose power? How did they lose because like the other eight has a crown on and talking about all of with me or whatever. So I'm like, somewhere in this time frame, Caesar's bloodline must have yeah, but Caesar, that. Caesar's son was uh, still an infant when he died, so there was no way that he could take power anyway. So another ape would have had to take power anyway. He had an older brother. He, yeah. His older son died. His wife and kid died. Remember, uh, Woody, Woody Harrelson killed him. Yep. Okay. And we're the plan of the apes. Yeah, I, a- I, I had to go back and rewatch it a couple weeks ago to, to remember everything. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't seen it yet. I'm rewatching. Oh. I mean, oh, good. I'm glad you threw this super chat. I, I'm about to bring this up. That said, he threw in a five dollars super chat. Roadhouse wasn't that bad. I had fun watching. Anybody watch the Roadhouse movie? Not no, yet. I, didn't, I, didn't I, didn't even came, I didn't even know it came out. Yeah, it's on. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you what. I liked it a lot. Zach Ekrom did. Yeah. Um, I heard the rest. Uh, what's his name? Um, guy, the fighter. Uh, uh, uh Conor McGregor. McGregor. Yeah, I heard he was real good in it. It said, "Dude, he was over the top, though. Like he was yeah. really over the top." Who was the parents being himself? Character? They say Jake yeah. Joan Hall. Yeah, Jake Joan Hall. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was. It was really good. Was he, a, he can play a badass. He, I don't. He can play a badass. He don't like yeah, boy, he yeah, that martial arts skill and stuff. A street or more like a he's street. Basically, street fight, a street fighter yeah. kind of. Uh, he he in this movie he's a former UFC fighter. Yeah, okay. yeah. So brawler, it's basically a brawler. Yeah, yeah. Which he can play really good because you ever seen the movie Southpaw? He yeah, was a badass good, motherfucker. Good movie. That was a great yeah, movie. Great movie. Okay. If you haven't seen that movie, that was yeah. a great movie. So it was also good, badass, but it, but it doesn't be Iron Claw. Iron Claw. No, well, it's one one's like that pulls at your heartstrings yeah. and like, and then well, Zach Efron. I didn't know he had that. I didn't know he had that in him. Oh, oh Zach Efron. Yeah, he's got some serious. Zach Efron is better than Creed. Um, uh, Southpaw better than Creed? No, I wouldn't no, say so. No, no, no. Not Creed. I, I have a, I, I have Might a love cool. heart relationship with that franchise. So yeah, yeah. The 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 legacy of Creed means more than just you know a standoff. One, one off, yeah, yeah. Apollo yeah. Creed's is like, I, mean, I like three, so. two, and one better. One is my least favorite out of the three. One's my favorite out of the three. <laughs> my, well, I started watching that with my wife. My wife couldn't finish watching Rocky One. She was like, "My God, this movie's so bad." Really? I'm like, the what? First, the first Rocky? <laughs> yeah, I'm like, what? <laughs> no, the worst one is Rocky Five, five. with five. Tommy Gunn, and then yeah. Rocky Balboa. I'm not a fan of that one. I love Rocky Balboa. Love uh, it. The speech. The rest of them, like, I mean, that, that speech is iconic. I mean, that, it, it's, like it's not just it's the speech, replay though, though. Yeah. But you got to remember, sort of, it's sort of like Ghostbusters Afterlife. We went so many years without Rocky. That we finally got the love letter back, yeah. and it was something that they really wanted to do. Same thing with Ghostbusters Afterlife. It was something that they the really letter, yeah. wanted the to do, letter. and we never would have got Creed if it wasn't for Balboa. So yeah, I was like, that, "That's a fact, right there." Yeah, because mm-hmm. then it wasn't yeah. named direct that one. I wish um, we could go back in time and erase five, though. Oh my god! <laughs> but, well, but technically, you kinda, they you, have you need five. You need five, though, the, no, in order don't. to go forward. <laughs> 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 I'm like Rocky. What are you thinking? The only Just good the thing was that street fight. The rest of it, I can do without. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Rocky. Rocky was supposed to die at the end of that movie too, but they changed the ending. Um, yeah. Justin Monty threw in a five dollar suit. Did you know the director of Kingdom of the Planet of the Ape is actually going to be directing the live action? I believe it when I see it. Just, yeah, Justin, I believe really? it when I see it. I heard. I heard people are saying they have like what's his name, um, Tom Holland. That's freaking a uh, link. <laughs> Oh God! <laughs> like the fan fan casting and everything. Really? Yeah, I believe it when I see it. Hey, the fan cast people that are doing fan casting with AI is insane. Insane, yeah. Danny, Danny sent one for uh, what was it? Danny was for um, the Dragon Balls. I thought a Dragon Ball Dragon Z. Ball Z. Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, if they do that, yeah. like I said, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> I'm clear. That oh, that God. Piccolo looked ratty though, man. They yeah. made that Piccolo look ratty they, as hell. They didn't get perfect, but when, but if they were to go forward with that. I could go on just that if that gonna be like the little steel shots, then they make it. Piccolo was who? Idris Elba. Uh, I don't the know the characters, but so no, <laughs> black guy. Idris, Idris Elba was the clip that I sent y'all was Piccolo. 
Okay. Oh, yeah. oh, I didn't get no clip. You must have not sent that to me. I'm talking about the AI or I saw on Facebook. No. That AI uh, it might be the be same. Scary, it might be the man. same. It might be like same. five, ten years. AI is gonna be scary. AI, yeah, yeah, dude. I'm scared yeah. of AI already. Think it's it's the worst it's ever gonna be right now. It's only gonna get better. Yeah, dude. I, like I have like conversations with Chat GPT, and it's crazy, 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 insane. Yeah. Uh, Devin throwing in a two dollar super chat. What's up, Devin? Uh, anyone watch Nickelodeon's yes. Doc? Quiet oh, on set. Man. I don't even know what the hell that is. So they oh, oh, that's the one with the, the kids from the Nickelodeon stuff, mm-hmm. like Amanda oh. Bynes and all them. Oh, the the it's a documentary. Yeah, the, 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 the Drake, Drake coming from, out. Uh, Drake and Josh, he came out with like sexual assault and all that stuff. My he daughter was talking assault. about that the other day. Do you see how psychotic Amanda Bynes so, looks now? They they so in the past week they just canceled three Nickelodeon shows because of that documentary. Really? Yeah. So now they're saying let's, let's do a Disney Channel one. The, they need to, the actress you just mentioned, she, you're talking about that. That's the one that played in She's the Man and all that. And, yeah. yeah. Uh, Man yeah. of Mine. But yeah. she went yeah. she, past few years. She went kind of crazy, like psycho and everything. Yeah. She's got like a heart yeah. tattoo on her face. She was, I had a big crush on her back in the day, too. Yeah. Right. She yeah, was she's... great in those movies. Yeah, yeah, she's she like started, started, on, started on all that. I think I think all that. Yeah, she started all yeah. on all that. Yeah. A lot of them people did. I like didn't realize did. what's the fluffy guy, fluffy the comedian. Uh, yes, he was on all that. I, I didn't even realize that. Oh my god, what's Gay fluffy his name. Yeah, I know uh, what you're talking about. Gabriel, 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 uh, Gabriel, yes. Gabriel yeah, yeah, Iglesias. Yeah. yeah, so it's it's crazy, man. It's scary, right? Well, like, if you if you, and like you, you look back, a lot of the jokes like with Ariana Grande and stuff, there's a lot of feet jokes, a lot of stuff for her put stuff in her mouth and stuff like that. They, they talked about it's like those kind of jokes were like as an adult, you look back it's like that's not appropriate for a 13 year old kid to be doing, you know. But yeah, but the guy named Snyder, yeah, he said he was a creep. Yeah. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. That's it, it's crazy, man. Do and you I, think the parent? Do you think the parents do you? I, I, you think I they took some blame. Hush I put money some up? blame. I put some blame on the parents because, like, how can you? How can I, as a dad, be on set and my daughter, you got her showing her mm. feet, you know, or porn, this stuff, you know, white stuff on her face and everything. It's like, mm. but the one, the one girl from, um, I can't remember, well, I Carly, uh, she came out with a tell-all book, and like, Miranda blasted Oscar? her. Mo- no, the other one, her sidekick, uh-huh. blasted her mom, um, blasted the producers wow. and everything. But so that's where all this kind of. So you open the floodgates for all this. Well, I know th- this isn't Nickelodeon, this is Disney, but look at Hannah Montana and look at what's her face Car- now. Well, Molly went through, yeah. Molly she's, be- she's better now, but she went yeah. through a rough. Yeah, she, went, she went through a rebellion yeah. stage big time. Yeah, because her dad was controlling. Now. Yeah, because her dad was controlling a lot of what she can do back yeah. then. So I believe did you did you guys ever hear the the story about Steve Urkel on Family Matters? No. Mm-hmm. Did you remember um the episode where um Steve had a cousin come in, and the cousin was a girl, but they had the actor who plays Steve dress up yeah. and drag yeah, yeah. to play uh-huh. the cousin. Well, apparently, the actor who plays Steve Urkel, his father, like, lost his shit on in, in oh, the studio, set. going, oh, wow. you're not going to make my son dress and drag and all this, blah, blah, blah. Like, he really went crazy on that yeah. shit, man. I, I yeah. heard the dad was, didn't, was like, Cap, didn't like it either. Didn't um, Cap Winston about how they always made like, all the black men grow, like, Comedians, the shows always had to put a dress on mm-hmm. at some point. Yep. And you look back, it's like, yeah, a lot of black male actors had to dress up in drag. Mm-hmm. Or look at Wesley Snipes and uh, what was it uh, with Fu uh, Man Chu? Fu Man Chu. That's that a good movie. That's a good movie. That's a good movie. Yeah, man, was, movie. Wasn't it uh, Patrick Swayze too? Patrick yeah. Swayze and uh, what's the guy? Uh, uh, the Spanish guy. Um, played the okay. sloth in. Uh, Oh, uh, oh um, uh, Louise, uh, uh, yeah, uh, Gr- that freaking name he has, Grisamo. John Guzamo. Yeah, yeah. 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 John Luizamo. Yes, yes. Luigi. Yeah. Yeah, Luigi. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Violator. What was that movie called? The Something? Violator. Wang, True. Wang, Wang Chu or Wang Wu. What was it called? Fu Manchu. Fu Manchu. Fu Manchu. No, what name that movie? No, it was, no, it was, was I, I, I thought it was called like Men Are from Mars or huh? something. Well, Two Wong Fu. Two Wong Fu. Yeah, Two Wong Fu. Thanks, what? 
Thanks for something. That's your wife in the background. Thanks for everything, Julian Lamar. Yeah, my wife is like, yeah. she remembers that. Yeah. Shit. She might not remember other stuff, but you know, she remembers yeah. that stuff. Fast, fast study doing five hours of chat. Fun fact, Danny, the writer of Southpaw is the creators of Son of Anarchy. Oh, yeah. Kurt Sutter didn't know that. Yeah. Not an amazing I, show. I never watched Son of did y'all, Anarchy. Did y'all watch yeah. the spinoff of that one? It is off. It's it's the Mayans. Yeah, I didn't watch the Mayans. I'll yeah. watch it if you watch Game of Thrones, Danny. Fair trade off. You watch them. Yeah, start start with House of Dragon. Though. That's what I did. You like it better. I guarantee you, I like Sons is rough. From episode one to episode, you be like, what? <laughs> yeah. Ba, 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 ba. But Kurt Sutter, Kurt Sutter, he's married to um, Peggy Bundy in real life. Oh, really? Yep. She don't age, man. She's aged she's well. She, play, yeah. she, she plays a son of crazy boy. She is not ditzy and crazy like she was in uh, Married with Children. She is. No, no, you no she's know, a, yeah, she's. she's you ruthless. know who does not age? Selma Hayek. Oh no! Yeah, she got some kind no. of witch juice in her bloods. I don't know. What she her, did she her that, uh, Angela Bassett don't age. What was that movie when Don, she Don of the, um, yeah. Oh, Dusty Dawn. Dawn. Dusty Dawn. Dawn. Oh my God, that's when I fell in love yeah. with her. Yeah, yeah. I didn't. I didn't drink beer, but if she was to put her toe, pour that beer. <laughs> but no hesitation. <laughs> no hesitation. <laughs> Can I have another? Yeah, oh my I have God. <laughs> Justin on to another five hour super check. Can I say it's nice that we finally get a break from comic book movies? I know it feels good for me. Yeah. Uh, it feels, it feels good, good for me. me. I don't care. It feels good. What was the last good comic book movie? That we saw the Marvel, <laughs> the Marvel, yeah, I didn't say Marvel. Marvel, Bar- no, like we're really, like really blown away. I would say no end game. Oh, Spider Man, Spider Man, the yeah. last one. Yeah, yeah, yeah man. God, Danny got me tearing up and everything. Well, man. even with Spider Man No Way Home and Spider Man Across Spider Verse, those are good movies. But I wasn't blown away like I was with End Game. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and the game was like a whole build up to that movie, right? Yeah, yeah but there was yeah. so, but, but to the yeah. build up to End Game and Infinity War, there were so many oh my god moments in the Marvel yes. movies leading yeah. up to that. In yeah. End Game, man, we saw that. Actually, I lost my my stuff when mm-hmm. Captain America got that hammer. Oh yeah. Oh yes. Yeah. Man, I mean, everybody, <laughs> my my theater went crazy. Yeah. It, it went crazy. It was more crazy than yeah. to your left, and it was more crazier than Avengers Assemble. Mm-hmm. He got that hammer, man. Oh well, yeah, my my, my theater went crazy. wild. It went wild in there. It was some good writing too. Like the old part there when Thor comes back and you know acts freaking yep. Thanos right on the side. Back. Oh, and he goes, in the Infinity you War should have gone for the head. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, in wow. Infinity wow. War, that moment in Infinity War was awesome. When they were getting overrun and that lightning just hit. And they started oh, playing the Avengers yeah. music, and Thor just pops out. Like yeah, that was man. good shit, man. With with yeah, Rocket, they went uh, They were about to kill Vision, and then you hear that, da, 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 and you see Captain America in the shadows. Mm. That's another like, one too. Even man. like when yeah. they when they started getting dusted, you didn't know who was about to get dusted. And it was yeah. quiet yeah. in my theater. Like you hear a dead bang, quiet. Oh, yeah. you hear a gas. You start the chat. was like, "What? Yo, yeah." I was like, yeah. "No, we just got him. <laughs> <laughs> we just got him." <laughs> 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 But that's the thing, right? Like, and they weren't far was that. set that was so high. That's they the were, they, that's the biggest yeah. problem. It's gonna yeah. be hard. It's gonna be hard to recreate that, man. It's like, just like uh, like uh, people that, that um musicians. Mm-hmm. Is there a movie? Yeah. I mean, people say it, but I'm I don't follow Prince as, as well as I do Michael Jackson. But to me, Purple Rain was Prince's best yeah. um yeah. album he ever made. But people said, no, he got better stuff than that. I don't know what it is. I went to see the movie. I bought the album. I knew all the songs on there. Even the Super and, Bowl, he's playing Purple Rain in the rain. You can't top that. Was, I mean, yeah, and then you can't Michael Jackson that. thriller. Who can beat that? Who can yeah. top that? Like I said, they're 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 victims of their own success. Yep. You know, yeah. it's gonna but, be hard. I think like Kevin Feige can do it, but we had think, a moment. Every single movie had a moment. No yeah. matter what, they have to led to something. You knew it was I think they had the right the recipe with Kane. The fact is messing up with majors. I don't know if they can. I don't know if they can bounce. Back. I can't. Kang never would have been top the notch. Same level. Yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't not Thanos. Thanos. Like, the way they introduced Thanos over the years was just perfect. 
But you the the only one bit. I can think they could top that with is Galactus, Doom. man. Or Doom. Doom, possibly. At, when I first saw Quantum Man, I was like, yeah, but at the end, when we saw all the Kangs at the end, yeah. there is so much they could do with that. And we saw That's the top true. three. <clears throat> so that I was like, man, if they do this King right, man, yeah. this could be this could be something good. I think they <laughs> had the, the right recipe. Whether or not mm -hmm. the cake would arise and taste it good, I don't know. But they had the right ingredients. Okay. Did you hear what the rumor is for the um the upcoming Avengers that they're gonna take the current team we have now and kind of mix it up with different characters from across the multiverse? So we'll get like an Iron Man, but it'll be like a different Iron Man. Oh, you know, I'm like that 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 would be use, awful. Use what use that. what you got right now. Yeah, in your, yeah. You gotta get away from the multiverse thing. You gotta get away from the multiverse. Get back on a singular line of stuff, you know. I'd be I'd be mad for Rob Downey Jr. because the best of my not ready to come is superior Iron Man. So if they don't let him play that in an alternate universe in a different multiverse, I, I would be mad because he's the man play. won his Oscar. Come back he's now, bro. You got your yeah. Oscar. Come yeah. on back now. Yeah, you know? yeah. I want to see him as superior. We need Iron Man. We need this. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. But I'm, I'm glad we're taking a break. Out. I'm glad we're taking a break from the right. um, superhero yeah, stuff. Take All we got is what Deadpool. Take 24 off, regroup, yeah, re come back out in a 2026. Come back fresh. You if know. I was you, I would, I would, I would steal Star Wars play because Star Wars usually come out in December. So mm -hmm. I'd be like, we coming out Christmas time. They've always done yeah, summer probably. blockbuster. That's, that's been their thing, summer blockbuster. Yeah, I that's I do, that's you know. true. It was in the summer. Yeah, you know well, what? Uh, Star Wars. Right? Star Wars. If Bob Wars, Iger, yeah. if Bob Iger wins his voting thing, then maybe we'll get these Marvel movies back on track. But right now, Disney's in a big civil war between themselves. That's why George Lucas had to come out and vote for power to Bob Iger because um, what what's the dude's name? Um, <coughs> Ike, Ike Pomutter. Mm. Oh, no, Pomutter. Um, well, Chapek fucked everything up. Yeah, he's the one that took the power away from Kevin Feige. But Cromutter came out and he wants all creative control over everything. And Bob Iger is fighting that. So everybody that has shareholders like George Lucas is voting for Bob for Iger. Iger, you know, because think, like, when things were good, who was in charge? That's all I gotta say. That's right. Mm -hmm. When things were good, who's in charge? Yeah, it'd be crazy if you see this man, and, and I'm saying speaking of Kevin Feige, has brought this company. Billions, not a billion, but billions of dollars with his method that he's using. Why are you going to derail that man? Why People get egos, man. Get ego like, like, greed, man. Look, yeah. look at New England Patriots. Tom Brady and Bill Belichick went to the nine Super Bowls, one six, and, and that wasn't enough. The egos got in the way. Belichick wanted to be in charge, so he kicked Tom Brady out, you know, and look yeah. what happened then. You know, people get them, them egos, man. I, I feel if I make it, I'm looking at my bank. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't, care if, I don't care if we don't get along or not. We and make Rob Stroll is breaking into cash cow. I was saying, hey, man, keep, that's right. Make, make sure Rob have all the iced coffee he can drink. Yeah, uh, whatever it is, yeah, what he needs, uh, make it happen. Sure, sure he, he have, let's keep that uh, cash cow happy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, I, I agree with you. I think that's that's the smart thing, man. Smart thing. If Bob Iger, if Bob Iger wins, they better bring, they better go to the Russo brothers on bending knee. Yeah, please, but please come back. Please. I don't see how back. you found you found the secret magical formula to make billions of dollars, and then you just uh. pour it out. I don't understand that. Like you had the perfect system, you had a money making machine, and I don't know how you drove it off a cliff. I don't understand. If yeah, I was, if I was Danny Iger, three things I would do if I was in charge. Danny Iger. First, I'm going to get the Russo brothers. <clears throat> Second, I'm putting. Kevin Feige back in charge, and yeah. third, I'm bringing George Lucas back and say, "Here, do whatever I would you do need to do." Same exact thing. Wars. What do you need? I'm get with this you. bad boy back on track. Whatever need resources it. you need. Yep. You they, think that would even work? Now I know what you're saying, Danny, about George Lucas, but people are I'll get pissed. George Lucas gonna, yeah. with De Dave Filoni and mm -hmm. John Favreau. I put them three in a room by themselves and say, "Here, just create. Do it. Bring, do it. Come now. back in six months. Tell me yeah. what you got." And yeah, you don't need more than six months. I'm just saying, <laughs> those mics, those mics. <laughs> give, give me a synopsis. They could, yeah, give me a, yeah, yeah. Give give me a good a game plan. What you got? A game plan, and we're okay, gonna follow this. Then I'm gonna give you another 18 months in 2026 Christmas time. 
I want to see what you got. They they need George Lucas back just for PR sake, man. Mm -hmm. Because Kathleen Kennedy, how that bitch still has a job is beyond me, man. You made a right. You don't like her. She says some crazy stuff. She don't know what she's doing. But during her tenure, she brought them money. She made them money. You yeah, but I would argue anybody with Star Wars IP could bring them money. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I don't know. So, so, so you're telling me, Danny, if I would put you in charge and I would like, fuck it up, I would fuck it up. No, but 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 here's the, but, but here's the thing though, wow, Danny. But, but 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 here's the thing though, you would not fuck it up because do you think Kathleen Kennedy has any influence on the story? She just approved the script. It was it was it was um. Uh, what the fuck? Uh, I would who, who drown, the... I would drown y'all with Mace Windu. Y'all would get tired of seeing Mace. Windu. Okay, fine. You were a bad example. Every... That's all we get purple lightsabers. That's all you. Was... You're <laughs> a bad example. It'd be but... Mace Windu. It'd be Danny Windu. It'd be Rob Windu. It'd be Guy Star Windu. DJ. Everybody run around with purple lightsabers. Everybody gonna win. <laughs> Mother. <laughs> but but the point I'm trying to make is <laughs> Kathleen Kennedy didn't bring them money. The Star Wars name brought that money. You could have put anybody as the producer of episode seven, and episode seven would have made two point something <laughs> billion true. dollars. It's, 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 got, it's the name. Like when we saw Marvel, you knew that was gonna be money. You know it was gonna be a money maker. If you see, yeah, Marvel, but you know it's gonna be whether you whether it's something that's good a better on level or not. It's, look, it's the money. Look maker. How it went down. It used to be when it was on a, a particular person. Whenever we saw that, mm. oh, that's half a billion right there. You can't say that now. Mm. You can't say that now. But, but we go Kennedy back to up Star Wars. the same people was under there, and other people. It went down. You gotta, you gotta have a certain people there for it to stay up. Mm. Phil so Collins threw in a five dollar super chat. He said everything was better when companies didn't uh, own, own anything. I agree. Own everything. Yeah. I, I do miss Fox. I'm not gonna lie. I miss Fox quite a bit, actually, because I I, I like I, I used to cheer from like man, I can't wait for Marvel to own all these characters and stuff. Mm -hmm. And they didn't do shit with any of them until X-Men 97, you know. I'm just like, damn. Yeah, yeah, I, I do kind of miss it, man. The monopoly stuff. I wouldn't say it's a monopoly because it's not really a monopoly. It's, it's that they hold they have their hands on. Yeah, everything. A good I'm chunk just, of stuff. I'm just ready to see the next Star Wars movie. These little shows are like little fixes. But the appetizers. They ain't there. Need, 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 I'm ready, I'm ready for the steak. They, they <laughs> can't even agree on what the next movie is. Every that's every the, week they're changing and it. And that's the problem. Like, there's no consensus of what direction you want to go. Like, for first, it was what, like, I don't care what direction you go. Just give me a, a consensus of where you want to go. You know, that's yeah, like Marvel. Like, I don't know where you're going. Like, if I knew where you're going, I'd probably get on board. But I don't know where we're going. For third Rise, person, he said the Rise Raiden, of Skywalker come out. What year was Rise of Skywalker oh, had to come out in 2018, I believe. 2018, 2019. 2018. No, 2017 was Force Awakens. So okay. 2019, I think. Was that during the pandemic? Before. Yeah, it was before. right before. So like 2019. Yeah, 2019. Yeah, 2019. Yeah. Right for yeah. 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 20 to 1, to 2, to 3, 3, 4. Five years of Star Wars. It is 100%. And it doesn't make That's any sense. You start the new saga over. It should be like, you know, every, yeah, at least at two this, years. At maybe. this point, I'll take a reboot. If they want to reboot the first, <laughs> I'll take a reboot. Okay, they want to reboot the first. Re recast the whole thing. Five, six, six, go right ahead. If not, they have to go Old Republic and give us, like, you know, people want to see the Darth Revan and, and Malak whole story with the Star Forge. They, they, they so. should have stuck with uh, the Game of Thrones guys. And the let them do their do, yeah do yeah. the old republic yeah. trilogy like dragon before kind of yeah situation yeah, yeah but then but, how we got to where we are kind of thing yeah but they quit man they're like man there's too much fucking toxicity around here we out of here was, they, they jump shit they started politics shit. there was too much politics going on yeah. in, in, in the boardroom it's, it's still going on because. Yeah. Two weeks ago, Ray movie's gonna start filming soon. Oh no, Rogue One or the Rogue Squadron movie's back on track. No, we're doing the Mandalorian movie. It's like they don't even know what the. No, well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. There's, there's no consistent way direction they want to go. So how can we even you know get excited about anything? Yeah, yeah. Just just, just pick a fucking movie and make a goddamn movie. I don't care. I just want to see a fucking Star Wars movie. <laughs> Look. Anyway, you guys ready to wrap it up? That sound good so to me. Start, oh yeah, my uh, show. Come on, yeah, I gotta go and watch. <laughs> All right, Danny, where can people find you? <laughs> I recorded my latest episode of uh, the Road to Wisdom 
about two hours ago. So you see it first thing in the morning at 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's going to be Slaying the Giant called Temptation. So please check that out. 7 a.m. 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time tomorrow. And of course, you can catch me on uh, the guy showed here below, Guy Scar, um, the Hangout, along with him and DJ. And of course, here every Sunday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thanks for the invite. Cool beans. Thank you, sir. Guy Scar, where can the people find you? For Dan said, our show, The Hangout, Wednesdays, 8 p.m. Eastern. Check us out. And DJ. Like the two fellows say, get me on Wednesday night with those two. <laughs> Just give a repeating record. <laughs> Here on Sunday nights and on my channel, Talking Black Guy. And I, I promise y'all, I got stuff coming. I got recorded. I haven't edited anything yet. So, but this week, I'll do a mass dump of stuff <laughs> on my channel. Let me say one thing. Let me ask one thing. And, and I already asked Guy Scar, but I watched the latest episode of Shogun and it didn't have the captions. I couldn't understand nothing they said. Yeah. Did that happen to anybody else, or is it just me? Nope, not me. Wow, well, I keep the caption on my TV, so it's because <laughs> depending where you're watching it. So if you're watching it, it, it ain't on, nothing illegal. I pay for it. I it is, but it isn't any. Mm-hmm. So it's like it's it's yeah. So the, depending on the provider that you're going through, well, uh, wink, 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 wink. That sucks. that that file that file the the subtitle file might not be embedded in it, so. Uh, well, That's I was gonna get you, but it's your but you're gonna get you. You don't have Hulu, Danny. Maria Kosama, yeah, I'm watching. Danny, you ain't got Hulu. No, I got oh, it. Watching, we'll get Hulu and you'll get subtitles. No, I'm, I'm paying <laughs> like y'all paying. I pay $169. I should have subtitles. Nah, man, I, I hey, asked not getting freaking subtitles. I, I, listen, I cut a lot of my I got Netflix <laughs> and Hulu. And Disney Plus right now. One well, the first three episodes I had subtitles. Why this one ain't got it? Yeah, it's probably it's got probably that bootleg. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, get get Hulu, yeah, get man. It. Straight from the source of third yep. parties. The hell with yep. the source. <laughs> <laughs> the hell with the source. Straight from the teeth, and they say, "Hell with the house of." I, I like Hulu, man. Hulu has a lot of good shit. Yeah, on they, got it. Lot, they got a lot of good stuff on it. A lot of good shows to sleep on. Yes, yep. yeah, we have it. It's um, on our Disney Plus for us, so. Don't as for my movie, it sucks. as for my channel, I plan on doing a lot of shit this week on this channel. Uh, probably Ghostbusters review tomorrow. Um, Halo season two review coming. Probably review on Roadhouse, and then I'm gonna do um Ghostbusters ranking video sometime this week. And then on the gaming channel, uh, Hell Divers, man, because yeah, Jesus, you've been liking it. You've been liking it. Yeah, I, I'm I'm 14 ranked right now, so you know, pass me. I, I haven't played all weekends. So Dude, to- my wife don't like me right now playing that shit. I played it for four hours. I'm like, babe, I'm gonna play my brother and friend four hours later. I'm like, baby, okay? Dude. She's like, oh yeah, I'm fine. I'm like, I'm <laughs> yeah. 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 She, she, she does the night, DJ. Yeah. I'm fine. Yeah. yeah, you hear that? I'm fine. Yeah, yeah. it's not as far from fine. It's yeah, I'm like, all right, guys, fine. I gotta go, man. Yeah. This is my last fuck, game. Man. Like, fuck democracy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that, that game's fun, like. It was such a yeah. different schedule. I would definitely play with you. That's definitely why I'm not play. getting it because I'm like, what the hell am I gonna play with, man? You get I would play all I, different I, schedules. I play, at, I, play, I play at night, so it sucks, bro. Because I'm I I can only play during the day, Monday through Friday. On the weekend, maybe if I talk to my wife, I can play for like an hour or two, but not really. Um, but <laughs> all my friends work during the day, so I can't play with my brother. I can't. So it fucking sucks. I but... play with randoms, but it sucks playing with randoms. You don't get no. I'm playing with a group of people is great. Fun, I was yeah. playing with geeky guy and. He shot me. I'm like, bro, what the fuck you just shoot me for, man? And he was making like all these like Muslim suicidal quotes as he was doing stuff. He was like, I'm doing this for Allah. And he'll go and sacrifice himself. Was I was hilarious. watching that. It was hilarious. Was fun, he, man. Yesterday he started playing the like the Hindu music in the back. <laughs> it like, but like it, this, you know, my 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 soapbox. It shows what a smaller studio can do, you know. And make a game that's complete. And they had they had server problem when it first came out because no one thought the game was gonna be as big. Yeah, that, that's kind of not on them because their first game only had like ten thousand players. Yeah, total. but you know they fixed that quick. But I like it, man. It's like these, these big game studios who paying eighty bucks for a game. You know that's that's not complete when it comes down yeah. with crashes where you have a game that's half the price and way more fun. 
It's you addicting know? because you play, like you you play one match. You're like, oh no, man! I just one more match. I want to get a couple yeah. more credits, you know. Yeah. And then like I mean, one I match. One, yeah, I want this one thing, or I want to level up this one time. And yeah. Next thing you know, have you yeah. fought the Ottoman? Auto, auto, six auto hours later. Six yeah, hours yeah. later. Yeah. yeah. Pretty pretty much. Much. That's how it is. No, I, I try to stay away from the Terminators, man. They kill me too easy. You get up your butt numb. You know that ass numb. When you get up mm-hmm. and your ass is numb, you know you've been sitting down playing too long. But is that is, is that kind of game? It's so good that like you lose yeah. the time. How, how, how much fun you have? So. <laughs> You're rolling on the chair, Danny, because you can't stand up because your legs will sleep. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, we're gonna right. head off and uh thank you guys so much for watching. Appreciate each and every one of you guys. Until Adios. next time, later, guys. Peace out, sour crowd.